molecules of its active agent are surfactant, molecules derived from fats that have both polar and non-polar qualities. The surfactant molecule, it has polar heat that love water and long carbon chain for a cell that heat water. For the sake of demonstration, we will transform our surfactant molecule into what we call a lollipop. When we turn to the most normal surfactant used in our planet is soap. Now, the average household fill with different kind of soap. We've got dish soap for the kitchens, hand soap for the skins, body soap for the tub, and a lot more. This is quite too too. Oh, I'm just working on my bike. Oh, that sounds fun. Yeah. Hey, you want some sleep? Yeah, I want some. Oh, no. Not until you wash your hand first. Okay, wait a minute. Hey, what took you so long? I don't know, it's not coming out. Well, of course it's not coming out. You got to use soap. Why? That usually wash without using a soap. Well, dirt, but nasty grease like your hand, you got to use soap. So, if it grease, I have to use the soap? Yeah, and it's pretty simple. You got runny water and greasy hands, so we have to use soap or surfactant molecules. And something pretty interesting happened. In a sort of tense, the excess molecules find each other. Non polar thin all want to be together facing all in one go, and all polar heat wants to be together facing the water. Non polar thin of soap molecule and non polar oil molecule are drawn together. They all captured and they form sphere called micelles and can now easily wash away.